morning, Tetzla. We ran out of starters again. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Okay, let's start. Let's okay, start. well, this is the Live and Fi Show. I'm Maya. And I'm Sean. Godzilla or King Kong? Who would win? Find out more about the movie that will answer these questions in today's Hot Topics. Have you ever been on a plane? If you have, do you know how it works? Well, let's find out what's up in today's Hot Topics. Talk about Dungeons and Dragons and an upside down world. Stay tuned for Stranger Things, which just got stranger. Find out more on You Heard It Here. Tune in for basketball and more to come on sports. We've got all this and more right after the break. I am Tesla of California. We are Tesla of California! I am Tesla of California. We are Tesla of California! We are Tesla of California! I am Tesla of California. We are we, we are, are Tesla of California. And we're back. Now it's time to check out what's going on around campus. Hi, I'm Stephanie Chang, State Senator from District 1. And we're here today at the Capitol celebrating Asian Pacific American Heritage Month. Um, every year we have Asian Americans from around the state come to the Capitol um, to celebrate the month. and really talk about both the contributions of our community to the state as well as some of the really important issues that we still need to address. I'm really excited that this year we have actually had more people than ever before um, at the Capitol for this exciting day. Um, so happy Asian Pacific American Heritage Month. will be composting leftover foods to help her worms thrive. You can now help her with this mission during lunch and nutrition in the quad. During this week, including today, we will be on block schedule due to CASP testing. Make sure you got a good night's sleep and had an amazing breakfast this morning since it's almost time to test. Tonight is the Cerritos High School area concert. Come down and watch Cerritos High School in all its glory at 7 p.m. Library fines have been delivered to you students. Please pay the librarian either before school, during nutrition, lunch, or after school. Again, fines may be repaid before, after school, or during snack or lunch time. If you are an 8th grader and have missed the cap and gown pictures, there will be retakes on Friday. Again, there is retakes for cap and gown pictures for 8th graders on Friday. Come on down to the Downey Theatre to see the Red Carpet Media Festival take action. This event will take place next Tuesday at, again at the Downey Theatre. All the festivities will start at 6 p.m. and the ceremony starts at 7 p.m. Again, the Red Carpet Media Festival at the Downey Theater. On June 4th, from 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m., there will be an award ceremony recognizing the high-achieving 8th graders. They will be given their medals, which they will also wear on the day of their promotion. Congrats to the high-achieving 8th graders. Now 7th graders, the end of the year is almost here, which means it's time to head to John's Incredible Pizza. If you'd like to attend, permission slips must be turned in tomorrow and Friday before school in front of room 305. 
The trip costs $15 in cash only. Do you want to help your school? Well, then come on down to Island on June 5th to help support the Garden Club. And that wraps it up for the Tesla Play by Play. We'll be back before you can count from 1 to 1,000, then 1,000 to 1. Welcome back. It's time to get into today's hot topics. Two of the biggest monsters will fight it out in the new movie Godzilla vs. Kong. This movie will be combining Godzilla and King Kong into one single universe. It will be releasing into theaters on March 13, 2020. However, this is nothing new to people who watched the 1962 Japanese film King Kong vs. Godzilla, which was a massive hit. Hopefully, the new one will be more popular and better as the first one. You won't want to miss the clash of the century, so be ready in the year 2020. Ever look at a plane and wonder how it flies? Well, the plane has four attributes that keep it flying, which are lift, weight, thrust, and drag. Lift pushes the airplane up. It goes up because air moves around the wings, pushing it up. Weight pulls the plane towards the ground, so it doesn't fly off into the solar system. Airplanes usually have the heaviest weight from front to back. Thrust moves the plane forward. Most of the time, the engine gives the thrust to the plane. Drag, sl drag slows down the plane so that it's controllable. All of these forces work together to make a plane fly in the sky. But the most important one is, of course, the pilots. Now it's time to see what's going on behind the lot. Never mind, it's time for you her to hear. Wednesday Cuts Love and welcome back to You Heard It Here. I'm Shy. And I'm your other better host. I don't know about that, but things are getting stranger and stranger above and in the upside down world. But we don't know every detail just yet. Hmm, I wonder why, but we soon will because Stranger Things Season 3 returns to your yes dreams on July 4th. It's been off with two episodes in a row. The official trailer gave us an insight on the season taking place in the summer of 1985 and that they are now around 13 to 14 years old. Although the trailer came out some time ago, it left fans on the edge of their seat with thrillers and a few comedy moments. Based on recent images, the cast consists of our favorites and some new members that we will get to know and love. One last thing we want to share is that there is a secret message in the trailer. We were supposed to have a picture pulled up right now, but we'll post it on our, we don't want to spoil that, mu that much for you, so yeah. we'll post it on our Instagram at TetsLawCA. So if you want if you want the suspense again, comment on our Instagram at Tatsasia. But for now, we'll see you tomorrow, because now it's time for to hand the mic over to sports. <laughs> Good morning, children. Welcome to Sports Zone. I'm Shakir. I'm Kyle. And no Raiden. Oh. Okay, now on to for basketball. Lillard and Portland are expected are expected to come to terms on a Supermax deal this summer, which be which would be four years and $191 million. Yeah. And Lillard will qualify for that Supermax deal if he is voted to one of the this season's three all NBA teams. An honor he attained for their first time in his career last season. Going over to some of the NBA news, um, about the Raptors, Kawhi Leonard, they're saying that um, they showed in uh, game four that they could uh, go without having a totally functional Kawhi Leonard. 
that uh, of course he has been carrying the team, he's been showing out, but uh, they can't play without him, and uh, they have showed that. So, yeah. And yeah, that's all time we have for today. Now let's toss it on to the real news. has shown that if emissions continue to go unchecked by the end of the century, then global sea levels could rise high enough to swamp major cities like New York and Shanghai. It states that the sea levels may raise faster due to the accelerating melting of ice sheets in Antarctica and Greenland. Researchers predict that worst case scenario that could occur would be global temperature increasing by 9 degrees Fahrenheit and sea levels could rise by more than 2 meters or about 6.5 feet in the same year. This could pose a threat to smaller island nations in the Pacific, which would cause them to be inhabitable. In an even worse scenario, researchers found that it would be possible to lose about 1.79 million square feet, an area more than three times the size of California, would be lost to the sea. This rise could put one 187 million people at risk, which is about 2.5% of the world's population. Though the chance of this event occurring is low, scientists have stated it should not be discounted. Scientists have stated that humankind has a very small window of opportunity to avoid some of the worst consequences, like high sea rise. What I'm most worried about is that um, it's three times the size of California that will be lost at sea, and how many people will be at risk? Lot. And isn't the United States one of like the biggest countries in the world and is California it? is one of the largest states in one of the biggest yes. countries in the world. So that's a lot of land. That's a lot of lives. Hold on, the US on is the land. biggest country in the world? Not, not the biggest, it's but not the biggest, but one of the one of, one the, biggest. of the biggest. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that that's a lot of land. No, why wouldn't you just like gather people and like you know shovel away the ice? Is that a possibility? It's not ice water. No, but the ice that melts. Yeah. Oh. Well. Yeah, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now it's time to check out today's FYI. How far can a snail travel in a day? 17 meters, 21 meters, 25 meters, or 29 meters? Take five. Um. Um. Nani twenty one. <laughs> Before I start, so our guest today is Matthew. Hey Tommy. Matthew. What do you want to say? What do you want to say? I don't I I just want to talk about like soccer. Like a friendly conversation. Yeah, friendly. So, you wanna start first or I start? You well, start. Okay. <clears throat> so I've been I played soccer many times. How many times? It's been a long time, but I don't play no more. Maybe for three, four years, I played soccer. Three. I was actually a good uh, uh, a right forward. I played right forward. That's cool. Position. Yeah, I played center mid. I didn't like that. Why? I didn't like I did not like defense. Center mid. I just like. I, I loved right forward. Anything else, like no other positions? Did you play goalie? No. I played goalie. I could. Oh. I got kicked in the face. That must hurt. It does. <laughs> it does hurt. Yeah. Yeah, one time there was uh, three balls. Not like that. No, no. Like three. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then they all like shot at me at once. And then one right here. Yeah, and then <laughs> went down there. <laughs> I, I've got hurt many times by other players, but not kicked in the face. Why? I don't know. I, f I feel like that's like a normal thing, you know? I was the, I mostly scored the goals. I mostly scored Ooh. a lot of goals. I uh, see. I more You're the show off. <laughs> that's, everyone didn't really like me in the team. Oh, that's cool. It's, it's actually true. Everyone liked me. I was the best nope. player. Nobody liked me because I I was the one that scored the goals. Mm -hmm. The coach liked me. Uh. All the other parents liked me. Uh. 
But I, until I realized that, that my team didn't like me, I started knowing, oh, I'm scoring too many goals, let me, let, the, let my players, or let my teammates score the goals. So you played goalie? And, and center mid, center mid, defender, defender left, left, yeah, right, forward. Now? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes I just, uh, you know, occasionally kick the ball on my brother. <laughs> good, good. Does he it? Yeah, he does. He punched me a lot. Okay. He grabbed the Barbie doll once and he threw it right at me and um, hit my knee. <laughs> and now my knee's crippled, so. Okay. You know. Alright. Well, that's all the time we have for today, and we'll see everyone back here tomorrow morning.